Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. When it comes time to plot, some companies like to put information on the edge of the plot, such as the name of the drawing and when it was plotted. And in BricsCAD, you can do this through the uh, print dialog box. That's the print command. And then over here we have the plot stamp, turning it on and off. Click the edit plot stamp button to get access to it. Now here you can specify uh, the information you want. The header means it'll be printed along the top of the drawing. And I'm going to choose the um, date and time. And then the footer will be printed along the bottom of the plot and I will stick in the uh, drawing name. And you can specify the font. Arial is a nice clean one so we'll keep that. And there's the uh, height of the font which is uh, 0.2 inches, just under a quarter of an inch. Click OK and to see what it's going to look like let's uh, choose the printer and then once the printer is chosen we can uh, preview the plot. And so here we are, see what the plot's going to look like. So up here we have the uh, date and time. And it's looking a little bit odd, Saturday, January 3rd, then the time, then the year. And along the bottom we have the file name with the complete path along with the uh, file extension. The plot stamp dialog box is a quick and easy way of adding this information, but may not be what you want. And so now I'm going to show you how to get what you want using field text. To customize the plot stamp, we can use field text and this is best done in layout mode because that way you will know for sure what the size of the text will be. So. Here we are in, uh, in a layout and in uh, paper space, and I'm going to start the mText command. Of course, the first thing it wants to know is the area for the text to fill into, so I'm going to pick a couple of points here. And then I think I'll change the font size to something a little smaller. And then this is the button you do use to access field. And I'm going to click it. And you can see you have all sorts of things. First thing I want is the plot date. And that's always useful to know. And I'll just use this uh, standard method, which uh, runs the year down to seconds in, uh, in order. And then I'm going to press uh, Enter. And one more field. Let's see. Uh, we'll want the document name. So let's have the, uh, where do we have here? File name, and then we can have a choice if we want the path, the extension, and you can see up here you're being previewed uh, what will be happening. You can have it all uppercase, uh, first capital. Um, I like title case, makes it easier to read. I'm going to leave out the path, uh, but I will put in the extension and then click OK. So now we have the two down there. I click OK to close the uh, dialog box, and uh, let's see what happens when we go to print this. And here we have the data down there. We have the, uh, the current date and time, or at least the date and time it's being printed, along with the file name. And if you want to pretty it up a bit, you can change the font, change the size. Uh, let's close this, cancel the plot dialog box, um, double click to change it, and yeah, it's the text font that's kind of ugly. Let's switch to something clear like uh, Arial and that's okay. The other thing I want is I want it uh, sideways along the edge here. So I'm going to change in the properties dialog box, change the rotation angle to 90 degrees and then just use the move command to uh, position it over there. Now let's uh, do uh, print preview again. All right, so now the uh, it's in the Arial font there and uh, it's sideways on the edge of the paper in the format that we want it to be. Earlier we saw that when we first placed the uh, field text for the plot date, it showed up in the mText preview as uh, four dashes. What in the world do four dashes mean? Well, uh, it, drawing hasn't been plotted yet, so BricsCAD doesn't, can't know what the date and time is when it was plotted, so it can't insert those numbers there. It's not until after you've plotted it for the first time, or even just previewed it, that the date and time get filled in. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook.
Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.